Тут мне напи напиши, на э, получил смс из э, Литвы, они спрашивают, почему ТВ Тейбл без э, звук. А, уже поставил. Нет, я убираю звук, потому что он плохой всегда. Теперь будет уже. Пусть смотрит тут картинку, слушает звук от этой картинки. Слушай, я что-то тут толкнул, я не знаю почему. А? Что-то толкнул я. Смотри, камеру. Не, нормально, нормально. Ты... А, это две камеры? Ну, просто здесь со звуком он будет монтироваться. А так эта камера не нужна? Ну, по идее, нет. Оставь. Пусть тебе записывается здесь. Да, пусть записывается. А подожди, это идет через какой стрим? Через а? твой стрим идет, да? Да, да, да. А да, это да. через литовский. Так уже все хорошо? Сл с уже меня слышит все? Да? да, да? Ты уже можешь Окей. Окей, so good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are starting the final of the Baltic Pool League, uh, the final stage here in Riga. And we can see that we have two players in the final. It's the international final which we have here, which we have here is uh, the player which we all know really good is Denis Grabe from Estonia and uh, player from Lithuania Pius Labutis. So we can see that uh, the match already started. Uh, I didn't uh, catch who was breaking this first rack, but whoever it was we can see that the Dennis is at the table and uh, the position currently is uh, Dennis has to play two ball he's making the safe shot goes all the way with the cue ball to the to another part of the table making safe and uh, Pius now has to play from the side cushion to get to the two ball and maybe he will call the four ball which is just next to the corner pocket, left corner pocket as we look Uh, he's making it and he has nice position on the two ball and I believe uh, if he will make the two ball he has a nice nice layout and everything for for taking the first track all the balls are nicely spread on the table and um, should be not so difficult but we can see that uh, Pius now just didn't make a position on the five ball he ha he had he had to draw just a little bit the cue ball to the five ball that he could make a position on the five so he now needs to elevate the cue that he could uh, hit the five ball and um, make a position on the six uh, he executes it really well. The young gun from Lithuania makes a position on the six, and now I believe nobody can stop him from taking the first track. Uh, 
he makes seven ball, but the cue ball really not goes. It's the second time already in this rack when he just cannot make a position. I think the only way is now to hit the cue ball from the cushion to the eight ball and uh, he calls he calls the right bottom corner to the eight ball and he makes the nine ball and scratches. Uh, not not very fortunate for Pius first track. Dennis gets cue ball in hand and this should be very easy for Dennis to clear these rest two balls and the score stays 1-0 1-0 to Grabe So we start the second rack in this final and um, Dennis is breaking. Uh, we can see that the break was successful and he has nice position on the one. The six ball is just just in the corner pocket and I believe he calls the six ball. Ah, oh, what a mess. It's just the beginning of the match not not goes into any player's way. Uh, Pius makes one and a six combination shot. Has a nice position on the free and I believe now Pius just should clear the remaining balls from the table and make the score 1-1 one, one. and we can see that Dennis even did not wait until Pius will drop the last ten ball into the corner pocket it just ma makes it more easier for Pius and the score stays one each so now the third rack will be broken by Pius Labutis So Peace is breaking and the break was not successful. He scratches on the break and uh, I believe Dennis cannot uh, see one ball. He could actually play the one ball into the right bottom corner as we look on the screen. Or he can use the first foul from Pius and make a safe shot hiding the cue ball yeah just like that yeah just like that we can see that the 
cue ball is not actually frozen to the four ball and uh, this makes much easier escape from the snooker. So I believe as a as Pius is a great kick shooter, I believe he just will kick the one ball and maybe he will make it to the left corner pocket as he calls it so we will see how it goes and I believe he will use two rails two rails escape or maybe one rail now I believe it will be two rails Ah, second foul so Pius now is on a second foul and uh, Dennis is using this second foul and uh, probably he will make another snooker I think it's just because of those two balls just in the left top corner pocket and now now escape is much tougher because the cue ball I believe is just a little bit frozen to the nine ball and uh, this escape will be much tougher than when it was previously is the third foul and by the 10 ball rules if you are making three consecutive fouls in a row you lost the rack so this is what happened and the score gets 2-1 to Dennis Grape So it's a fourth rack, Dennis is breaking. Ah, and now we can see that Dennis just scratched on the break. So Pius will have ball in hand. The balls are spread nice and open on the table. I believe for this stage of the tournament in the final, this position should be ran out by having cue ball in hand mm, it's okay uh, I think it's okay it just shouldn't be so difficult to make a position on the four yeah, we can see nice layout and nice position on the four little angle to go just to the side cushion oh, he makes a draw shot makes it on the five it has nice angle on a 5 to draw it back to the 7 ball yeah it's I think it's still okay maybe I will need to queue on top of the 9 ball but I believe he, he should make it yeah uh, maybe not so maybe he shouldn't be so quick at this final match because the winner will take 1000 euros and the loser will take only 500 euros so all all mistakes which will be made in this final will be yeah it's okay he makes it to the side Pius, Pius equals the score to 2-2 two two. it's a uh, it's I would call it an early comeback 
when uh, Pius made three fouls in a row on uh, on his own break he scratched in a previous rack and now Dennis scratched on his break and Pius just ran out quickly all the balls so the score gets to 2-2 two -two. we'll see what will happen next By the way, I believe that uh, most of you who are watching this final... Ah, uh, what is happening to this guy? It's just... the break just not goes into his way. But as I mentioned before, for those who watching this final, you probably all know Dennis Grape. He is a great player from Estonia. He has many titles in his uh, pool career. And uh, Pius Labutis from Lithuania is a, I would, I would call he's a new gun. Because Pius just uh, came back maybe three days ago from uh, the World Championship in, uh, in Shanghai, in China. And he brought uh, the bronze medal from there in his uh, in his age age group under 19 eh, under under 19 years he took the he took the third place so it's really great achievement by this young young talented player from Lithuania and we can see that Dennis just missed the five ball into the side pocket, into which uh, Pius just made it. And Pius is now have a chance to to get one rack in front of Dennis. You can see that position maybe is not so not so good on the eight ball, but he makes it and the cue ball is stopping just just right just next to the nine ball and it's really gets complicated yeah but Pius is making it and uh, the position on the ten ball will be with the cue ball on the rail but I believe it's makeable yeah it's the score stays 3-2 to Pius Labutis from Lithuania Okay, so we having um, six six rack, and the Dennis Grape will break it. He breaks the balls and he has a nice layout on the table. He can see one ball. I think the p position should be made with the side left spin. Yeah, just like that. A little draw to the free ball. A little draw shot. Oh no, he makes it with the inside left spin uh, but I can see that he did not make a good position maybe maybe he will cut it into the side or maybe either he can play safe shot by hi hitting the free ball just a little bit below the center of the cue ball making it to stop oh no, he cuts it in and um another another bad position on the five ball but as we just saw how he cut 
cut in the free ball into the side. Maybe he will follow after that cut shot and make it make the five ball also with the cut shot. But it's always uh, gets difficult to make a position on the next ball when you have to cut such a difficult shot. And especially when you have to cue on top of the another ball. Yeah, and we can see that Dennis just missed it and left a nice position on the table with five balls. I believe Pius should clear this table and make the score 4-2 to his side. Yeah, three balls remaining until two nice racks lead. Oh, what a what a punch! To be seven ball makes a position on the eight. I believe it's. Uh, yeah, he makes two rails, two rails position. He even shows with his hand that he want that the cue ball would bounce off the top rail. Yeah, and he he makes the ten ball, and the score stays four two to Pius. Well, it's nice to see that uh, Young Gun is in front against uh, experienced player from Estonia but it's a uh, early stage of the match and uh, as it's a long distance the race is to 10 racks so it's better to wait until the end of the match and we will see who will win because in this early stage we cannot guarantee who will win uh, Pius breaks, makes the one ball to the right top corner pocket has a he has a position on the one ball I believe the one ball goes either to the side pocket or either to a right bottom corner pocket but I believe he is making it to the side pocket yeah makes a position on the free ball into the same side pocket and after that I think he will make a position on the four ball to the left side pocket uh, what will happen? I think cue ball just just did not or did it yeah, we can see from Pew's face that maybe cue ball just passes no it's not Pius makes a save and Dennis taking a playing cue, not a short cue, call it a jump cue. Uh, so Dennis, Dennis, Dennis took a decision not to go off the snooker, he just made a made a 8 and a 5 balls frozen just to make a bad uh, bad positional game for Pius e even Pius has a ball in hand he still has a problems on the table with the 5 ball unless unless he will he will somehow somehow will make a no, he's not making it. He's just oh, he's making the nine ball. Okay, so now he has a nice angle, I believe, for uh, for the shot in which I believe he will break the five and the eight balls. Uh, what will happen? The cue ball is stopping, and I believe Pius will make a safe shot, leaving the cue ball on one side cushion and the five ball on another side cushion yeah he's making even better he's making even better better position he's uh, 
hiding the five ball behind the eight ball and uh, Dennis will now need to play fin, fin cut to the five ball but uh, yeah, as we can see just like that and now Pius Pius have a visibility on the five ball but I believe it's a tough combination five and a seven the seven just stands a little bit not in the line of the combination shot so Pius will need to choose uh, yeah uh, I was So Dennis is making the five ball and uh, he has a position on the six but only to to the left top corner. Pius is asking for referee to come and check the shot because six and the eight balls are really close to each other and uh, possibly Dennis can uh, touch first, first the eight ball instead of the six ball and this is why the players usually they ask referee to come because they just don't want to judge uh, that or another shot by themselves because at the end at the end of the day the final decision can be taken only by the referee and uh, it's usually better to call referee for this for these shots Okay, so Dennis just called, I think, the 8 ball to the corner pocket, but I'm not quite sure because he just turned to the referee and said something to referee, but we will see what will happen. Yeah, I, I think I think the shot was okay, he touched, touched the 6 ball first made it to the left corner pocket and now he has a fin cut on the 7 ball makes it and uh, has a nice nice position on the 8 ball and after that he will nice he will have a nice position on the 10 ball so Dennis Grape is taking another rack and uh, makes makes the score only to one rack difference in this final match. It's four free still to Pius, but but maybe it could be five to two to Pius. But as I said, it's the early stage of this final match and we cannot say who will win or maybe if somebody is in front by five racks, it's not over yet. And the match will be over only when the last ten ball will drop into the pocket when one of the players will have nine racks. Dennis, Dennis is breaking as we can see Dennis uh, really has a nice break shot he controls the cue ball on the center of the table makes at least one ball from the from all those ten balls and has a nice position on the one ball Uh, makes it to the top corner pocket, but I think the cue ball just passed a little bit to the to the eight ball, and he he hasn't got a position on the two ball. We can see from Denny's face, but 
but he just snookered himself behind the eight ball. So either either Dennis can play with this jump jump shot, or maybe he can hit it somehow. Yeah, just like that, and make a snooker for his opponent, and he makes it. He makes snooker for his opponent, hiding the cue ball just behind the four ball. And Pius will now need to play from the rail, touching rail first. He calls. He calls it. He calls the two ball to the left. To the left, to the left pocket. But instead of the two ball, he makes a five ball into the right bottom corner pocket. So now Dennis does not have a good position on the two ball, but I believe he still can play and uh, maybe snook make a snooker. Uh, again behind that uh, four ball which is just uh, next to the top corner right pocket uh, but we will see what d what will decide then is maybe he will just cut this no he decided to play safe and uh, I can see that he snookered he made a snooker uh, the cue ball and uh, now Pius just called the two ball into the uh, right top corner pocket he will use the rail and the cue ball scratches into the corner pocket it just seems that Pius is now into he just started started not so good then he took two racks quite easily making uh, all the balls nicely and now it just seems that everything is going not into Pius way so we can see just how experienced player from Estonia Dennis is making ball after ball and uh, yeah he didn't make a good position on the six ball he will need he will need either to cut this into the right bottom corner pocket or maybe he will play another safe shot but we will we will see what Dennis will decide for those who are watching uh, men final I can say that in uh, in a women and old boys uh, division final, in front is uh, Oyars Blazers from Latvia. He's in front 3-0 against Agne Jaroszowskaita from Lithuania. Uh, we can see that Dennis made a really nice shot on the sixth ball, but he is not in a very good position to be eight ball. But for this for the player like Dennis, this ball should be makeable without any problems. And where is the cue ball going? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. He has a good position on the 9. And I believe he will make the equal score now 4-4. Four to four. Yeah, just like this. And the Estonian plans are... Estonian fans are clapping for Dennis. There are really many Estonian fans here in Riga, in uh, Bams Pool House. A really nice and cozy place where we have 12 pool tables. And this final, final. Uh, stage of the Baltic Pool League is really, I would say, I would say this uh, final, 
final tournament of the Politic Pool League had really many uh, matches of the high quality of pool and um, and now we have only la last four players which came to the finals uh, so we c we all saw how Dennis made a push out shot and Pius just punched the one ball into the corner pocket but it seems that it just not goes into Pius way his game and uh, and Dennis is back at the table but we can see that um, he did not make a free ball so clearly that he could he could have a nice position on the four and he just cut and did not cut in the four ball but uh, fortunately he made a snooker for his opponent and Pius has to play the four ball just contacting first the top top rail he makes it makes a good position on the five and I believe I believe this position should be cleared from the table and Pius should go up one rack uh, what a miss what's happening to this young gun just not goes it's just the game not goes to Pius Labuti's way Maybe it's the time for the timeout. And uh, usually players coming from the timeout with new energy, new power, and uh, maybe it's already time for it. Yeah, we can see Dennis is making ball after ball. And the score will stay 5 4. So, in the 10th rack, Dennis is breaking. The break is successful, but has he got a position on the one ball? I believe even if he can see the one ball, he probably can make it to, to the corner, to the bottom corner left pocket, because Or maybe he can make it into his side pocket. No, he's thinking about the position play and... Uh-huh, uh yeah, that was clever decision taken by Dennis. He made it to his side pocket. He has a good position on the two. Now when the problems been all solved, he should clear this table. Yeah, we can see that Dennis is playing really fast because he maybe feels that his opponent uh, Pius still cannot find uh, his play, his game in this final match and um, maybe that's why Dennis feels much comfortable at the table. Uh, 
ball after ball, two balls left for two racks lead in this final match, so I believe there shouldn't be any problems to clear these two nine two balls. Uh, the cue ball is coming to the ten ball. A little cut shot, checking two times. Yeah, and the score stays six four to Dennis Grape. And now after this rack we can see that Pius took a timeout because as I said previously players usually are taking the timeouts when they need to think from the beginning uh, why the why their play is not going into the right way, what we should adjust, what we should uh, maybe change in their game that we could come back to to the match and uh, uh, play better or play more clever. So we will see what will happen after both players will come back from timeout. So both players just came back from the timeout, and uh, I just uh, I just saw that Pius came back from the outside. Maybe he went for uh, fresh air to have a deep breath of the fresh air to go just to clear his minds and uh, use some some uh, energy outside from uh, from the air so Pius is making uh, two balls onto his break he has a nice position on the one maybe the cue ball is a little bit uh, closer to the cushion as uh, he would expect but but I can see also that the tube ball is quite close to the 10 ball and uh, 
even if he will make one ball into the right uh, top corner it will be difficult as I said it's difficult it was difficult to make a good position on the two ball and now even if it was not so difficult he made a he made a snooker for himself and uh, I can see that uh, on the table he he cannot see two ball clearly so so he is calling the ten ball to the bottom left corner pocket taking his gem cue and we will see what happened oh, what a disaster just just as I said previously this this young player cannot find his game and uh, and the game is just not going into his way so Dennis has a cue ball in hand he has a little problem just onto the side cushion with the four ball he just made a I believe the position is not very good on the four ball because the four ball is quite close to the side pocket and Dennis will need to play with the top spin that he would he could make a position on the five ball yeah he made he made a four ball he made a good position on the five he has um, I think he is a little bit straight on the five ball so so he will need to make a really deep draw shot to make a position on the six uh, he made a draw shot he is on the six and now now all balls should be just cleared off the table making the score seven to four Dennis is making the last 10 ball and the score will get 7 to 4. So in the next track the Dennis is breaking he makes uh, one ball on the break but he hasn't got a position on the one ball as we can see the one ball is on the top rail and he's yeah uh, what a fortunate shot he was trying to fin cut on the one ball and to hide the cue ball just behind somewhere these balls at the bottom of the table but the cue ball touched the nose of the side pocket and still Pius is in snooker now so he will need to jump this 
Cobalt to go out of the snooker. And Pierce, Pierce did not make a foul on this shot. And uh, made and he made a he left a position which should not be so difficult for Dennis. Uh, he made a one ball, he has a nice position on a two with maybe maybe the angle was much bigger than he expected, but he made still the two ball, but now he is in a little problem. I think because uh, he's showing with his cue that he wants the cue ball just behind those four and seven balls to make a really tough snooker for his opponent. So we will see what will happen. And then he plays a snook. He plays a safe shot, but I think that Pius can see the free ball. but even uh, he could see the free ball the pocket was blocked by the 8 ball so this is why Pius had to play safe as well as Dennis and Dennis makes it he makes it but he didn't call it and in 10 balls rules if you did not call the shot which was not obvious shot the opponent has the opportunity either to accept the table as it is or either to pass the situation to the player which made a ball and uh, nice really nice shot really nice shot he was uh, Dennis was in snooker, he could not see the four ball and he Come on. Dennis, Dennis just made a four ball into the corner pocket but he made a position of the cue ball and uh, he will need to elevate the, his cue on top of the eight ball and this makes a much tougher shot for another position. Yeah, but not for Dennis. Dennis is just making all balls so easily but it seems that he is in a practice room With this 10 ball into the pocket, Dennis makes a really big lead against Pius, which is now, which will now be really difficult to to catch Dennis for Pius because 4x in front race to 10 is really. It's really difficult to come back from this deep hole. As I said, the most important shot of the rack is the break shot, but sometimes we can see that the player is breaking dry and and Dennis is really Dennis had a really nice layout of the balls after Pius break so I believe there shouldn't be much problems for Dennis to to run out this position 
Dennis really shows with his body language but he's so comfortable at this at this table at this final match I believe nobody will stop now Dennis from the taking the title in this final tournament So Dennis is squeezing his extension to his queue. Just he wants to he wants to reach the cue ball and to cut the free ball into into the right bottom corner. And he's making it but does he have a good position on the four? In this situation I believe he will need to elevate, yes, as you can see all he's elevating his cue to make a four ball into the uh, top right corner and to make a little draw shot, yeah, just like that. But I believe he is a little bit more straight on the five ball, but no, he was not, he is okay. He's okay even with the seven ball and uh, there shouldn't be much problems for him to run out the remaining balls. Oh, what was that? Maybe it will be the turning point for Pius. That was strange. That was interesting for such a player like Dennis to miss this kind of shot and Pius is making really nice bank shot but he does not have a good position on the 8 ball I believe Dennis already he already felt that nobody can stop him from taking the title and uh, he just relaxed and played this shot really not so not so seriously when he should. Okay, so we can see, but Dennis is back to the table, but he hasn't got a good position on the eight ball. He calls a bank. He calls a bank into the side pocket. He makes it. Oh my god. That was that was really nice shot. So much energy and so much power in this shot and he even made a good position on the nine ball. And now the Dennis with this ten ball he will come on the hill in this match. And So, it's Danny's break. He's making... 
he makes two balls from the break and he has a really nice nice look to one ball which he makes and now the two ball goes into the left corner pocket and now he's onto the four he has a really nice angle on this four ball just to draw a little bit for the five ball yeah just like that <coughs> again a little draw shot for the six ball now three cushions position on the seven ball and I believe he is a little bit straight on the seven ball so he needs to draw a little bit yes just like that and and now two balls from the title uh, he makes the nine ball really with the strong punch into the bottom right corner and he makes the 10 ball and we have a winner of the final stage in Riga which is Dennis Grape and the runner-up is Pius Labutis so this this final match I was commenting with you all who was watching so thank you thank you for watching and uh, see you next time I hear you next time